going on, everybody? Jeff J with Four All Nerds, and I am here with the cast of She-Ra, Princess of Power. Introduce yourself to the people. Hi, I'm Noelle Stevenson. I'm the executive producer of She-Ra. Creator. Creator. Well, I mean, not originally, but <laughs> well, this version, this yes. This version. Yes. Um, I'm Amy Carrero. I play Adora slash She-Ra. All right. So, Noelle, what made you want to bring She-Ra back? And get, in, and get involved in the project. I, I think that it's, how to say, I think it's kind of a travesty that she hasn't come back sooner. She's such an exciting character, and the world is so exciting. There are not that many sci-fi fantasy worlds where the cast is majority female. she was already pretty groundbreaking. Um, and I think it's the perfect time to bring her back. Uh, I am so excited to be able to tell these stories that I've always loved, the genre, the sci-fi, the fantasy, through a, a lens that you might not always see it through, which are these, you know, flawed and complicated female characters. You get to play she You get to play yeah. the titular character. I know. So tell me what, differenti what differentiates she from all the other female characters and female uh, superheroes and all those people in those positions of power. What makes her unique? I think she really struggles with her power. And um, and you get, it's not really a story about a powerful person. It's somebody's ascension to power or like really learning how to be a leader, which is very little to do with power and so much more to do with sacrifice and loyalty and like doing the best for the most amount of people um, so I think that kind of differentiates her she's sort of learning on the job and, and going as learning as she goes which is kind of what I'm doing too um, but uh, on a smaller scale but I think that she also is someone who um, has to really make up for all the years of evil or bad behavior and it's sort of like how does she do that how does she live with herself how does she move forward how does she make the right decision every time even though it's hard so how do you balance between creating your own lane and your own mythos versus building on the established uh, uh, mythology and history of the past. I think I approach it very much, a lot of how I honed my storytelling since back when I was a kid was I had boxes and boxes of action figures. Mm -hmm. So, and they would, I would mix and match them, but I really preferred Star Wars action figures. Um, and I, I think I approach this in a lot of the same way, where it's like, here's the box of toys that I have to play with. How am I going to build on what's already there and reimagine them the way I want to and explore their world with given the pieces that I have? So you have all these exciting things to play with. Like everything in the show, the seed comes from the original show. It's like, oh, amazing. We have this awesome character. She's this. She's, you know, she's Adora. She's, she's this. She started out as a bad guy. She became a good guy. And in the show, that happens fairly easily for her. Um, she becomes a good guy very easily. She was actually under a mind spell the whole time which sort of absolves her of any guilt um, and then it, yeah and then she and Catcher they fight but it never they never seem to really recognize each other or have any like deeper relationship than that so it's like you take what you have the toys and you say here's what I want to explore with these and then you get to you get to play with the toys and it's exciting give me one reason why people should tune into Shira on Netflix and enjoy themselves well because I think you get a little bit of everything we need right now just like as a as like a society you know you get fun you get comedy you get heart you get uh, complicated relationships you get adventure and I think it's a really good way of sort of processing what's happening currently in a safe way on Netflix <laughs> You heard it here. I don't have to say any more. she coming out on Netflix soon. November 16th. Yeah. There it is. Yeah. Make sure you pay your bill. Make sure you're up to date. <laughs>